They have long appeared in European folklore as mysterious travelers' figures who arrive with the sound of plaintive strings, campfires, blazing against the night and footsteps that seem never to rest. These are the Roma. For centuries they have come to embody the spirit of wandering freedom, yet they have also carried the heavy weight of prejudice and misunderstanding. After enduring long histories of marginalization and persecution, it is now through the lens of genetics and historical scholarship that a clearer picture emerges. The true origins, migrations, and identity of this people Linguistic and genetic research both point to the origins of the Roma in northwestern India, particularly the regions of Punjab and Rajasthan. The Romani language descends from Sanskrit belonging to the Indo-Aryan family, and within its phonology and grammar, it still preserves traces of its South Asian roots. From a genetic perspective, numerous studies have identified the Y-chromosome haplogroup H1A1A M82 or HM82 as a distinctive paternal lineage highly prevalent among Roma populations. For example, in the study, the phylogeography of Y chromosome haplogroup H1A1A M82 reveals the likely Indian origin of the European Romani populations. The authors demonstrate that this haplogroup traces back to groups categorized as scheduled castes and scheduled tribes in northwestern India. In addition to HM82 maternal lineages identified through mtDNA analysis include haplogroups such as M5A1, M18, and M35B, which further confirm South Asian ancestry. At the same time, these maternal markers also reveal admixture with Middle Eastern and European populations during later stages of migration. According to analyses after leaving the Indian subcontinent, the ancestors of the Roma migrated through regions such as Persia, Iran, the Middle East, and the Caucasus, before gradually moving into the Byzantine territories and the Balkans around the 10th to 12th centuries. Upon reaching the Byzantine Empire and the domains influenced by the Ottoman Empire, the Roma took on roles as artisans, performers, musicians, fortune tellers, and other occupations. From there, Roma groups spread widely across the Balkans, and between the 13th and 16th centuries, they continued their migrations into Western and Central Europe, reaching Spain, France, Germany, and beyond. In each new region, they both adapted to local societies, and at the same time were met with discrimination, persecution, or expulsion. One of the most striking genetic features of the Roma is the pronounced prevalence of haplogroup HM82, which appears at much higher frequencies among Roma populations than in the native peoples of Europe. For instance, in a large-scale study, more than 44% of Roma individuals surveyed were found to carry paternal haplogroup H, including HM82, with frequencies reaching as high as 64% in the Balkans. By contrast, in indigenous European populations, this haplogroup is present at only very low levels. The founder effect is also evident in the reduced genetic diversity among Roma populations. This indicates that many Roma groups trace back to a relatively small ancestral population, which later experienced isolation through restricted settlement, forced confinement, or limited contact with surrounding communities. Such conditions contributed to the emergence of characteristic genetic disorders within certain Roma subgroups. Alongside their predominantly South Asian paternal lineage, the Roma also carry a variety of European and Middle Eastern haplogroups, including J2R1A, R1B, E1, B1B, and I. These genetic components reflect different phases of migration through the Middle East, the Caucasus, and the Balkans, as well as interactions with local populations after the Roma settled in various regions. As early as the 14th and 15th centuries, when the Roma became more visible in Western Europe, they were labeled as wanderers, criminals, and perpetual outsiders, people who did not belong. They were forced either to assimilate or to face expulsion. Edicts and laws required their conversion to Christianity with exile, 
or even execution awaiting those who refused. Such measures were especially common in the Holy Roman Empire and in Spain under the Catholic monarchs. One of the darkest chapters in Roma history was the centuries-long institution of slavery, particularly in the Romanian principalities of Wallachia and Moldavia. Roma people were bought and sold as property. Children were born into slavery. They had no rights and were forbidden from owning land. This system left a profound legacy shaping both the social fabric and the genetic profile of Roma communities. During the Nazi era, the Roma were targeted as a so-called inferior race. Between 200,000 and 500,000 Roma were killed in the genocide known as the Parajmos, though estimates vary with some sources suggesting the number may have reached as high as 1 million, depending on how records and national classifications are interpreted. A particularly tragic example is the so-called Gypsy Family Camp at Auschwitz-Birkenau, where on the nights of August 2-3, 1944, approximately 2,900 Roma, most of them elderly people, women and children were murdered in the gas chambers. After the war, the Roma were not adequately represented in the war crimes trials, and the memory of the Parajmos remained overshadowed by the Holocaust of the Jewish people. In the communist regimes of Eastern Europe after World War II, the Roma continued to face heavy pressures. Forced settlement bans on nomadism, prohibitions against using Roma names in population registers, forced renaming restrictions on speaking their own language and coercion to live in state-run factories or settlements, all measures designed to enforce assimilation. The Romani language, as noted, originates from South Asia, but has absorbed a wide range of vocabulary and influences from Greek, Persian, Slavic Romance, and other languages. Its dialects vary greatly across regions. Much of Roma knowledge, tradition, and spirituality has been transmitted orally, even in times of prohibition, and forced assimilation through family community rituals, music, and clothing. Stories, lullabies, customs, beliefs, and ancestors and spirits, curses, and fortune-telling practices have endured as indelible elements of Roma culture. The Roma have made major contributions to European music. Flamenco in Spain was profoundly shaped by Roma influence. Roma traditions also left their mark on Hungarian and Russian folk music. Gypsy jazz epitomized by Django Reinhardt stands as a brilliant example of creativity transcending hardship. Handicrafts such as metalwork, weaving, jewelry making, and horse trading have likewise formed an essential part of Roma identity and livelihood. Traditional clothing, brightly colored skirts and dresses, intricate patterns and ornate accessories remains a powerful expression of cultural identity and pride. Beliefs in ancestors, spirits, curses, and fortune-telling remain enduring elements of Roma culture, even though they have often been misunderstood and stigmatized. Roma spirituality is a syncretic blend early influences of Hinduism, later shaped by Christianity, and infused with the folk traditions of the regions through which they migrated. Ancestor worship and rituals. Honoring the dead have persisted despite waves of persecution, prohibitions, and prejudice. Although slavery and direct oppression of the Roma in Europe ended in the 19th century, prejudice and discrimination remain deeply entrenched. In many countries of Eastern and Central Europe, the Roma continue to be marginalized lacking access to education, health care, stable housing, and employment. The slums in Romania illustrate how Roma communities live with inadequate infrastructure, even as the surrounding cities thrive. Modern discrimination is often no longer legal, but manifests through social prejudice. Roma are frequently labeled as thieves, wanderers, or exploiters of the system, and isolated incidents can lead to collective punishment of entire communities. Roma children often attend low-quality schools, while adults struggle to find stable employment, 
limited to menial labor or small-scale trade. When migrating to Western Europe in the 1990s, many Roma families were forced to live in temporary camps under harsh conditions and faced expulsion, as they were perceived as wanderers or troublemakers. The Parajmos is now more widely recognized, with estimates of the number of victims ranging from 250,000 to 500,000 or more. The International Day of Remembrance for the Roma and Sinti Holocaust has been set on August 2nd, marking the liquidation of the gypsy camp at Auschwitz, when nearly 3,000 Roma were murdered there. Despite attempts at erasure through slavery, sterilization, and prohibitive laws, the genetic legacy of the Roma endures. The paternal haplogroup HM82 remains strongly present while distinctive maternal lineages continue to persist. Certain characteristic genetic disorders sometimes serve as evidence of founder effects and isolation, but they also testify to the continuity of ancestral lineages. Roma culture endures through music craftsmanship, clothing, and spirituality, even under conditions of repression. The restoration of identity across generations carried forward through oral traditions and family rituals remains a powerful source of resilience. Today, the Roma still struggle for full recognition, civil rights, education, health care, and for their voices to be heard in history. Yet genetics, anthropology, and history serve as tools to reopen the blank pages to restore ancestral bloodlines and to ensure that their past is not forgotten. The Roma are not merely outsiders pushed to the margins. They are a people with a history marked by both pain and creativity, with clear origins in South Asia, and with remarkable adaptability and resilience. When the world comes to learn about them fully, not only through accusations, but through science, culture, and history, it becomes possible to understand not only what has been lost, but also what endures, what can be revived, and what must be protected. The story of the Roma is one of persistent survival. An ancient bloodline from South Asia bearing distinctive genetic markers, HM82 maternal mtDNA lineages such as M5A1, M18, M35B pushed throughout history into forms of oppression, forced assimilation, slavery, sterilization, genocide. Yet it is also a story of identity of culture preserved through music, oral traditions, language, rituals, clothing, and a deep loyalty to ancestral memory.